Expect the best used car deals guaranteed. Visit arnoldclark.com. Welcome to Peter and Ruffy's Football Show. It is Wednesday. I'm Peter Martin. Thanks for joining us on the programme. Alan Ruff is with me as ever and alongside Alan Barry Ferguson. Uh, we've got Player of the Year on our minds. Yes, lots to talk about. Uh, first and foremost, let's get to the nominees for the Player of the Year. Uh, let's see the four candidates. Alfredo Morelos, James Forrest, Callum McGregor and Ryan Kent. So, is it fair that the two Glasgow sides dominate the, the nominees in this category, Ruffy? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think the, the four nominees uh, have been a standout of all the teams in the division. I, I, I don't think the, there's been a runaway winner uh, this year as there has been in past years. Uh, and I think every one of them at some stage of the season has contributed. You just have to try and make your mind up which one has contributed contributed the most uh, and, and I would go for Callum McGregor Yeah I, I agree I think the four players are um, are the right ones that have been nominated I've been honest four of them have had real good seasons for me but I just look in terms of goals goals wins you games and obviously Morelos has, has scored 29 goals this season <coughs> um, I know he's had his, his problems with sending offs but I think he's out of the three he's been the most improved for me um, this season he's the one that's stepped up um, and produced goals at important times for Rangers so again listen if any of the four of them won it I wouldn't yeah. argue with it but if you're asking me for my opinion on who I think should win it it would be Morelos. Here is a question I want to ask you, and this will give us maybe an insight into the, the candidates for the big prize. When you're a player and you're voting for it, yep. <coughs> and <coughs> let's just say you're voting for the, the four players there. I know what you're going to ask me here. I, I know, because it's the most <laughs> yeah. obvious thing, because yep. you've got to get an insight from guys like yourself mm -hmm. who have voted before. He's been sent off. He annoys players. Yep. Um, he gets involved in fracas right, left and centre. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Alfredo Morelos. Does that go against, uh, you know, the voting when other players maybe look and say, OK, you know, they have a, a, a Callum McGregor, a James Forrest, a Ryan Kent, who's not at the, <coughs> the forefront of any aggro? I think it will with some players and yeah. other players will look at the bigger picture and what he's actually done on the part in terms of scoring goals and how well he's played with Rangers this season but I'm sure guys he's come up against and listen, he winds people up, he gets in people's faces some players might not like that and obviously that will go against them certainly um, when, I was, when I was playing um, people asked me oh you'd never vote for a Celtic player but uh, you've got to be professional and think to yourself right who has actually been the best player that you've come up against or who do you think has been the most consistent throughout the season and that's why I'm going by Manelos because <coughs> I do think consistently in terms of scoring goals he has had a good season for Rangers but again Peter the four in that picture have had good seasons for um, mm. the, their clubs. Yeah, and let's be honest, I mean, I'm not being in any way facetious uh, about it. You've won it twice mm. um, from players at, at a period where you're the first one to admit yourself you were a morning face wee so-and-so. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I get in a lot of ding-dongs on the, on the pitch and it is the best award to win because it is your fellow uh, professionals uh, who are obviously voting and who obviously you played against all season. Um, so for me, it is, it is a great award and it means a lot when you go up on that stage and, and pick it up. Yeah, OK. He, he, um, must, he must have got enough awards to be, uh, enough nominations, or ticks and yep. boxes to be nominated. Yeah. You know, so it remains to be seen yeah, if but he's I, got but, enough. But the only, the only thing I was thinking of, Ruffy, and this is where the fine lines for me, <clears throat> if I was picking them, it would be between two players. It's between McGregor and Morelos for yep. me. I've picked Morelos consistently over the last six weeks to see, mm. you know, and I, I think McGregor's really pushed him close. Mm. But I think when you get to those fine lines, sometimes yeah. it sways because yeah, well, somebody what gets... I would, what I, yeah, I, would, I would take a guess that he wouldn't get many votes for Aberdeen. 
Aye. Morelos. What I will say is, as you say, is the voting went out, I think the cards went out four weeks ago. Yeah. Um, or three weeks ago. And obviously, he, he had the sending offs. He's not obviously played. And that will be in players' minds. It's who catches your eye for Christmas, probably. That's what I used to think. Like It's hard to think back before that um, in terms of after the, the, the winter shutdown in January. Um, and you're looking at it, and Callum McGregor has certainly driven Celtic on. But in saying that, Manelos has scored a few goals yeah. um, since the, the turn of the year. If it had been the first half of the season, Alan McGregor would have been up first there. Three or four months, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then he just fell away and there was a few, um, uh, well, listen, like every keeper, there's a few dodgy moments where he concedes goals that, and then all of a sudden, you know, the team hits a little bit of a, a rough patch and, and he drops out of the equation. Um, yep, you might want to give us your view on that <coughs> on social media. We'll hear from uh, some of the nominees in just a moment, but let's look at uh, the category for Young Player of the Year. Here are the nominees in this category for Sunday's uh, gala event. Ryan Kent gets the nod again, Jake Hasty, David Turnbull and Lewis Ferguson your nephew's in there Barry Yeah, proud of, proud of him I think he's had a, a fantastic season again Peter, that four up there Kent, Hasty, <coughs> Turnbull and obviously Lewis, I think four of them have been have, uh, had top seasons for their club uh, I really like Turnbull, I, I've been on about him on this show a number of times every time I watch that, that boy play he's a proper footballer Really like him. I think he's going to have a bright future if he keeps progressing at the rate he is. But I'm going to go with Lewis because he's went to a bigger club and a lot of people thought he went up to Aberdeen and maybe sat on the bench and got maybe 8 to 10 games. But the young young man's come in and started really well, got that great goal against Burnley and he's just kicked on. and he, He's real, really turned into a man since he went up there because he's obviously moved away from the family and he's had to grow up quickly. So... Um, and again, with the games that he's played, apart from playing against Rangers when he scored, yeah. um, I think he's been fantastic. Yeah, OK. High praise indeed. <coughs> of course, uh, Rangers fans will be looking at Ryan Kent, double nominee, and uh, listening to... <coughs> excuse me. And listening to, of course... Um, his comments on whether he could be back at Rangers next season on another loan deal? I don't really know. I don't really know where my future sees me at, to be honest. Um, you know, that's something that, that I've just said that I was going into this this season as it being my last loan spell. Um, you know, whether that's the case or not, I don't know yet. Would you consider a loan perhaps at Rangers again, but perhaps not anywhere else, if you see what I mean? Like, if you go somewhere else... Yeah, I know, yeah. Move. yeah that's something I would consider. So, uh, he consider it. Now, I don't think, I think he firmly closed the door on any possibility of reviving his career at Liverpool. You can understand why. Um, but that would be a real coup if they could get him back on loan for another season. I think it's, that's a key signing. I've got to be honest with you. I think he'll be at the top of Stephen Gerrard's wanted list. Um, whether that's an permanent deal or whether he's obviously Stephen Gerrard is going to have a good relationship with, with Liverpool. Um, whether that's back for another year on loan but he's come up he, when he went out on loan previously he struggled but I've been really impressed with him um, he can win games really like him as a player he's the right sort of character as well so I'm hopeful that Rangers can get him back whether it's in a loan or permanent I'm not really bothered as long as he's playing in the Rangers there, uh, jersey next season Yeah, the, the one uh, spanner <coughs> in the works here uh, to be perfectly honest with you Ruffy, could be the fact that somewhere in the Championship or League One uh, or even mm -hmm. I would say Championship and League One not being unkind to the boy somebody with silly money could just turn around and say to Liverpool here's you know a five figure sum give us your man yeah, it'd be, it'd be interesting to see who will make that decision, you know, whether it'll be the boy or whether it'll be the club or, or whoever, you know, because uh, you're right, when that kind of money gets about 8 million, 9 million, 10 million, it's a lot of money, you know, that you can bring in rather than letting them go out and loan. I was and, thinking and about his wages, but you're now no, the wage, you're on, the, no, six, the, the you're reason, on the six figures for the transfer yeah, fee. Yeah, but the reason you put him out and loan is always to, for him to get experience of playing with a big club like Rangers and bring on his you know, career, but that's not any good to Liverpool if they're going to sell him. Yeah. You know, they want the money. He's going to, he would find <clears> it hard. L listen, I think he's got a lot of qualities, but you look at a level Liverpool are playing at this moment in time, they can go out and spend 50, 60, 70 million pounds on, on a, a, a winger. 
Okay, uh, will he be at Rangers next year? You can give us your thoughts on that for the new season. It certainly would be a major coup, according to uh, Barry. We're going to hear from Barry's nephew, Lewis Ferguson. We'll also hear from Callum McGregor on the job Neil Lennon's doing at Celtic after we have a look at the quiz question. So Callum McGregor is involved in the nominees for the Player of the Year. Uh, the Celtic midfielder was also speaking today about the potential for the new Celtic manager. He was glowing in his praise of the short-term job that Neil Lennon has done. I think for the players, you know, it's it's your job to play football, and and obviously, you know, you go into Lennon's town every day, and you know, you train hard, and you know, you've got your teammates there to help you as well. So. I think the manager's been brilliant, as you say, that sort of uncertainty. He's come in, he's he's flung himself right into the job and you know, he's been brilliant, he's fitted in amazingly well with the with the boys and you know, not too much has changed. So I think it was a case of him just trying to stabilise the club and I think he's done a great job of that. Um, you know, we're sitting here with three, four weeks to go and, and as I say we're still in the hunt for the, the two remaining trophies. Ruffy, I'd be absolutely gobsmacked <coughs> if he won the two remaining trophies and they didn't give him the job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I don't understand where the sort of murmurings are coming from, from an element of the supporters. I don't know what they're looking for. You know, obviously they had Brendan in and they think maybe we could get somebody else like that, even though it'll be rosy again. But I think Neil ticks all the, bo the, the boxes for me. You know, the players like him. I would think the majority of fans would want him in the job and I don't think he's done anything wrong. Well, apart from the nominees, we've all been talking about the potential for players coming and going. Of course, every fan gets excited when they hear across all the <laughs> social media and all the media outlets about potentially uh, a player being signed or the pain of losing one of your star players. And uh, a young man who set the heather and fire at Fir Park is Jake Hasty. Um, now... We're all uh, growing up in this. Uh, basically, Stephen Gerrard's talking about the deal's almost close. Rangers, obviously, um, will be looking to get him on a four-year contract. Mullowell looking to cash in on the development of the young player. Uh, but still, Jake Hasty not really keen to talk about the big move and leaving Mullowell. I've been there since nine, uh, nine years old, and I, j I love the place, really, and I just... I, I like I love playing football there. I just enjoy my football really. Well, it'd be hard to leave, you know, you say goodbye to all these people that you, you've you've known for so long and that have done so much for you to get you to this point in your career. Yeah, if that if that was to happen, yeah it would, but I'm, as I said, I'm not here to talk about that. PR gone mad. Everybody knows. I mean I just don't know I just don't understand why, you know, footballers suddenly at any event have somebody coaching them on what not to say in certain things. Yeah, certainly with the younger ones. Um, he's put in a, a, a pretty difficult situation there. Yeah. Um, but listen... We've had some older managers and players coached as well. Nah, I know. But listen, Rangers, uh, I mean, it looks if it's 99.9% .9 done. Rangers have got a good young player. Let's not, let's not beat about the bush here. He's, for me, since Christmas, he's been great for me though. It's just whether he's going to go there and, and, and play uh, week in, week out. I would love him to go there and play. I love seeing young kids going playing football. That's what I say is when, <coughs> obviously... <laughs> you've been battered. Ah, well, listen, you've, I've got my opinion. That's what I feel. I just like to see young players blossom and play for two or three years. Yeah. And I hope he doesn't go to Rangers and he, he doesn't play much. But I would nothing more than I love to see is a young kid go there and, and do great. Because when a club like Rangers come calling... I could see why the young boy would want to go. Yeah, I mean, I hope he gets regular football. Oh, Ruffy, yeah. He's got a trick, hasn't he? He's left peg sweet. Yeah, as Barry said, he's, he's came into that team and he's been electric, you know, and some of the goals he's he scored are fantastic. And if Rangers don't want to, you know, play him, they could always go on loan to a, a good club. Yeah, I wonder well. what that club is, Ruffy. <laughs> One thing I will say about him, Peter, I like seeing that as well. He went down the leagues, he was at Alloa. I like seeing kids going and and trying something different. He went out there, done well at Alloa, and you see what happens. He's went into the Munnell first team, done really well, and earned a big move. Yeah, um, over and above that, um, when you get nominated, you want to obviously try and win the award, and then after that, uh, you want to try and kick on again, and you never know, you maybe even get a bigger move. Lewis Ferguson was 
tip to be <clears throat> uh, possibly a squad player coming on and just um, slowly but surely getting himself used to being in the Aberdeen first team but uh, he hit the ground running uh, got into the team and never looked back uh, he's had a low point though the red card in the semi-final certainly was something that quite a few members of his family uh, gave him a hard time about it's probably the lowest I've been as an Aberdeen player it was so disappointing um, but I had to be chat with him and and he just told me everything the gaffer said. Um, just that we need to move on. We've got so many important games coming up. So just get out of my head as quick as possible and, and move on. Yep, uh, that's what you've got to do. You get points like that. You've had it as a youngster as well. You you got it in the neck for certain things. And then you you know you grow. You learn. Yeah, he took your criticism well. Obviously, his dad <coughs> and uh, uh, my dad had a. I chat with him and obviously Derek McInnes, he's, he's manager. But do you know what, Peter? He's, he's done great up there. A lot of people were worried he was going to go up there and no play. But for me, I think he's one of the first names in, in Derek's team sheet and he thoroughly deserves to, to be in with a chance of winning it. Yeah. Uh, Ruffy, great news. Yeah. Uh, obviously, <coughs> we've been waiting quite a while. There's been waiting quite a while for the one manager to get sacked and waiting quite a while for a new manager to be appointed. But <coughs> Scotland, two weeks, we'll know... Names, mm -hmm. a name, a leader who'll get us to a major championships. Yeah, that surprises me because uh, we haven't seen many hard names bandied about. You no, know, we've had Derek McInnes, we've had Stevie Clark, David Moyes, and that's it. You know, and then we're talking about the interim. Uh, I, I agree with you, so it'd be great to get a manager, yeah. but I, I just think it's, we're running out of time again. You You've know. been told it's not going to happen. No, I haven't been told. All I'm no. saying is to get a manager that's in a job. You've had a steer, but it's a not job. going to no, happen. Gone. I just think that the interim managers will be in place for the next two games. Yeah, so you've had a steer on that. Or did you have one of those moments when you were lying in bed and you thought, mm -hmm. Man, I just can't see anybody getting the job, then I think they'll go for an interim manager. Mm. That might have happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, there's a flying pig. No chance. Anyway, uh, we need somebody if there, <laughs> if there is indeed a, 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 a temporary situation. No, I, I, I just think, see, at that point, Barry, I think really <laughs> they've got to look at them and say, a temporary position. What happens if it goes wrong with a temporary no, position? I, it, shouldn't, no. it shouldn't happen. There's got to be a permanent manager put in well, place who, in two weeks. Who would that be? Well, uh, under listen, the you've circumstances. Got, you've got Derek McInnes and Stevie Clark for me. That's the two. What are you going to put Malky and Scott Gemmell in charge for these two games in June? I don't think it would be easy to get Derek it's out of that be a leader Yeah, I agree with you, but I don't think it's as easy as a fortnight well, to get a manager out of a job that's under contract. Well, I'd be surprised if that does happen. No, I'll know. Yeah. Because what's went on, obviously, with the Alec McLeish scenario, which I thought but was I a mean, disgrace. You've just said, you know, to get a manager out in a fortnight. They should have been working the minute they knew they were sacking mm -hmm. Alex McLeish. Yep. They, knew yeah. they, were, they knew he was going to, they yeah, knew he was going to go. Been, but none of them have committed themselves. Derek hasn't and Stephen hasn't come out and said I want that they job come out in the press they just basically well, get the call on the approach that's yeah, exactly what happened, conversations Ruffy. that's what will be going down just now and hopefully listen that surely it's got to be a permanent manager yeah, surely it's absolutely. not absolutely just before we talk about uh, we'll move on for that because we're trying to get a couple of things in yeah. just before we talk about the Champions League what about your gaffer telling yeah. everybody to, <laughs> to to write down yeah, the team it's a psychological <laughs> thing that they seem yeah. to do down in England uh, he's done it at Wigan and he's heard other clubs have done it yeah. so he's tried it you're looking for a response well, you, you've got to get the response there's no doubt about that yeah. but if he thinks that's the way then it's his decision in the early 70s if uh, David McPallan had said to you you know I want you to write down the team do you think you'd ever have picked Bobby Houston to play for the Bardock? I like Bobby Houston yeah you Bobby Houston is one of my, <laughs> my favourite I would love to have seen the pieces of paper <laughs> to see who picked who I've never, never come across that oh, but, but I mean honestly never. professional football write down the team that you'd no, pick no but that's not going to be the team no, no, I, that's know not that. going to I be understand the team. that but when you when you come out in a situation like when you desperately need a point you don't want that type of thing to get out but listen I, I think he's a good appointment I think he's they've played good football I think he's going to get them away from it by the skin of their teeth yeah but and another thing when he's when he came in and took over it's not his squad and his team yeah. he's got a different way of playing Ruffy's told us plenty of times it's a total different um philosophy that Gary Caldwell has got so yeah. hopefully he, he gets some safe and they kick on next season OK Ruffy quickly Ajax how good were they and I think they'll put 
Spurs out in the return leg. Yeah, I, I thought it was a total uh, European performance. Get a goal away from home, see out the game and say we'll take you at the next one. OK, and New Camp, we'll all be there watching. We'll be in separate houses because we don't really get on with each other. Uh, but Barcelona <laughs> against Liverpool... <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, Barry. Yeah, a lot of people are taking Barcelona to win this easily. I, I don't think it'll be the case. I think Liverpool are a, a top, top team. Listen, Barcelona with Messi, obviously, the, the best players I think I've ever seen. No, that I think I've ever seen that, I've, that is for me. Yeah. I think it'll be a tight one over there. I think they'll just... 2-1 to Barcelona, I'm going, I think Liverpool have got a chance. OK, I'm going to go 3-1 Barcelona, Ruffy, and you've got the last word on this. I'm going to go 2-0 Barcelona. 2-0 Barcelona, no goal for Liverpool? No goal. And out of the tournament? Yes. OK, so Barcelona, Ajax for you in the final? Yep. Oh, I, I'm going Ajax and... <laughs> <laughs> Messi, Barcelona. Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. OK. There you are. <clears throat> I think we're all there. Hart, uh, I think I'd love to see Liverpool in the final again. Head tells me Barcelona, Ajax in the final. You might think something completely different on that. Uh, well, we're going to find out over the weekend about the player and young player of the year, but you can give us your thoughts on that too. From Ruffy, Barry and myself, thanks for watching. Expect the best used car deals guaranteed. Visit arnoldclark.com.